the previous video, we learnt about adding complex numbers. To add two complex numbers, we simply add the real part separately and imaginary part separately to get a new complex number. We also know that multiplication of two numbers, say 7 times 3, is just adding 7 thrice. That is 7 plus 7 plus 7 which equals 21. Is it that easy in complex numbers? How can two complex numbers be multiplied? Let us multiply 7 plus 2i with 3 plus 4i. We know that a times b plus c will give us a times b plus a times c. It's the distribution property. So this can be written as 7 plus 2i times 3 plus 7 plus 2i times 4i. Now focus on the first part. 7 plus 2i times 3. It will be this number added thrice. 7 plus 2i can be added thrice to get 7 plus 7 plus 7 as real part and 2i plus 2i plus 2i as the imaginary part. This is 21 and this is 6i. The result is 21 plus 6i. We actually use the distribution property here. 7 times 3 plus 2i times 3. 21 plus 6i. The second part is still pending. How do we account for multiplication of 7 plus 2i with 4i? This added times 4i does not make sense. But we can still use the distribution property here. Multiplying 7 plus 2i with 4i, we get 28i plus 8 times i squared, which is nothing but 28i plus 8 multiplied by negative 1. This is nothing but 28i plus negative 8. This expression equals the product of these two complex numbers. To get the final expression, let's add the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. We get the real part as 21 minus 8 and imaginary part as 6i plus 28i. Hence, 7 plus 2i multiplied by 3 plus 4i gives us 13 plus 34i. Let us pick up two more complex numbers, 3 plus 5i and negative 2 plus 4i and work out the multiplication. Would you like to try it first? We can use the distribution property here to write this as 3 plus 5i times negative 2 plus 3 plus 5i times 4i. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 and 5i times negative 2 is negative 10i. We get negative 6 minus 10i. Similarly, 3 plus 5i multiplied by 4i will give us 12i plus 20i squared. As i squared is negative 1, this can be written as 12i minus 20. And the last step is to add the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. We get negative 6 minus 20 or negative 26 as the real part and negative 10i plus 12i or 2i as imaginary part. Hence, their product is negative 26 plus 2i. In both the cases, we saw that a product of two complex numbers gave us another complex number. Is that always true? Keep this question in mind and try solving the next example. Try multiplying 2 minus 7i with 2 plus 7i. We will see the solution in the next part of the video. 